Maybe you're asking yourself, should I move to Indianapolis or is relocating to Fishers in Indiana right for me? Now, Fishers is ranked the number one best place to live in the country by Money Magazine, but not everyone will agree. So I took a vote and here's the five worst things about living in Fishers, Indiana. The number one thing most people wonder about when they're considering moving to Fishers is the weather. Hey, the other night a tornado ripped through the nearby towns of Winchester and Selma. It caused a lot of physical damage, but there were no deaths. And if you look over the, the history of the last 50 years in Indiana, yes, there's a fair number of tornadoes. It's not exactly Tornado Alley, and they're scary, but in the big scheme of things, eh, not so much. Okay, our summers can be humid, and hey, a lot of people don't like that. They'd much rather have a dry heat. And yes, we get all four seasons, including the winter. It's pretty mild though. I only shoveled snow three times this year. I never even got out the snow blower. And here's a big thing. Carpenters worked 52 weeks this year. And if you're thinking about building a new home when you move to Fishers, Indiana, that just might be a really good thing. And on the other hand, beyond it all, hey, the spring flowers and the fall colors are just gorgeous. Number two on my worst list of things when asking should I move to Indianapolis or those wanting to know everything there's to know about Fishers, Indiana, it's the traffic. Now, Fishers probably has the worst traffic in the entire metro area. Hey, it grew from 2,000 inhabitants in 1980 to over 100,000 today. So, 2,000, 100,000. Man, that equals a lot of construction. Houses, businesses, roads, hospitals, schools. I mean, lots of cone zones, and I don't like that, I don't know about you. Now, the flip side is there's lots of new cool stuff. Number three on my list of five worst things. Some will complain that Fishers is too far from downtown Indy. Yep, it's 30 or 40 minutes, and there's no public transportation to help you out. So it's definitely not for the anti-car people. Hey, the airport, if you're going there, it's a fair haul. You're either gonna have to ask a friend, get an Uber, or do the long-term parking thing, which really isn't bad at all. It's covered, the bus pulls right up to where you park, they treat you really nice, that's what I do. Or if you're going downtown for an event, a dinner, a party, whatever, well, you might need to appoint somebody a DD. On the other hand, in Fishers, you'll find the new events center, which seats 8,500 people with music and sporting events and comedy and theater. There's music galore at a number of different uh, venues. There's 25 parks, there's golfing. Hey, it's one of the most underrated cities, golf cities in the nation, according to a couple magazines. And hey, you've got boating on Geist Reservoir, which is one of my favorite things. You've got a growing food scene and you've got many times the amount of shopping that you do downtown. You might wanna be sure to check out one of these videos about everything there's to know about Fishers, Indiana. Number four, because of the growth, there are lots of schools and they can be big. Both high schools have about 3,500 students. That may be two to three times the number that you would prefer. Hey, I've had kids go to high schools anywhere from 750 to 5,000 plus, and there's pros and cons to both of those and everything in between. But you might want to consider what you think best for your child and not what someone else thinks is good for all children. Fisher schools are not only big, but with explosive growth comes many schools being built and redistricting, and that may not be to your liking. Now, on the flip side, Fisher schools are ranked by niche.com as the number eight school system in out of 290 in the entire state. That makes it a top 3% school system. That's pretty tough to beat. So highly ranked schools plus growth means desirability and high demand creates scarcity, basic supply and demand, right? And that causes prices to rise. So no doubt the cost of living in Fishers is increasing. The average household income is 89,000. The median priced home price is 407,000. Now 407 is going to be outside the feasibility of the nation's median household income. On the other hand, hey, I did a video just last week on the Brooks Chase neighborhood in Fishers, Indiana, and it showcased several homes for sale in the 220 to 230 range. So despite the rise in the cost of living, Indiana remains one of the least expensive states to buy a home. 
and that can make relocating to Fishers, Indiana a real winner. Number five, if you're thinking about moving to Fishers, Indiana, hey, please understand, this is not your grandfather's sleepy little town. Jason Aldean is not doing a Fishers, Indiana tour in any of his music videos. The growth mentioned above means there was never a small town to begin with. It was a farming area just 40 years ago. The city has been strong in developing a couple central points to gather around, principally the Nickel Plate District and the Yard. They've done a bang up job and are still plowing millions of dollars into both developments. So one of these days in the not too distant future, a Fishers Indiana tour is gonna highlight a great downtown area. In the meantime though, don't come here looking for a small town feel. Fishers, Indiana is a city on the rise. So if you're considering moving to the greater Indianapolis area, you'll be sure to want to pick up one of our relocation guides. It's free, there's no obligation or cost. And uh, hey, my staff and I have prepared the ultimate uh, relocation guide. You can pick up your copy in the comment section below. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. On Thursday we do a walkthrough of existing homes for sale in their surrounding neighborhoods. And on Saturday we give you a feel for what it's like to live in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, know that I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you'll love this next one. Watch it right now.